Good morning traders and welcome to this week's weekly market analysis Monday the 30th of September. All right this week and not a whole lot of data coming out but quite important data. Uh, on Friday we have non-farm payroll uh, job numbers which are due out so they are considered the, the highest volatility type of data for the Forex um, calendar month so that's on Friday and also uh, I believe it's tomorrow on Tuesday we have from Europe CPI data. So those are the two highlights that I have for you. I have them listed here on my side so that you can take note. And with that, let's just uh, kick off and start off our analysis. All right, this morning we'll kick off with the Aussie US dollar. And um, straight away, look, this is a really good example of what I was talking um, about uh, last week, that uh, previous uh, resistance okay can come back um, and act as support so if you give me one moment let me just zoom out we've had the resistance here which is quite clear the market has come down off this level a number of times and what we were looking to do is for the possibility to trade it back down again that's why I have my market there but I was looking for the reversal and this is one of the protection mechanisms that you have. The reversal never came. I did get the two candles, the, uh, the blue one here and the doji, but then the third candle never broke the bottom. It actually broke the top which meant you had to cancel your order out so you never entered the market. Okay, So that was a protection mechanism. Now that it's gone up, what we will be looking for is for it to come down and see if it can sit on this level over here where now the previous resistance may now act as new support and that's the type of trade that we're looking for. Again, when it does start to pull back, we're looking for a reversal to occur on that line as I've marked it out. So let me just make a modification to my chart. I'll just extend that out a little bit and I will bring my marker over here so that I know where I'm looking for it. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Aussie USD this week. Let's move along, have a look at the Euro USD. Okay, my marker is telling me that I was looking for a short here in this direction, and so far it hasn't happened. It still may, but it's not looking likely, so I'm just gonna get that zone out of there. I've also got a second marker up there. Let me zoom out. Okay, so that second marker up there is because there was a high over here so what I'll do now zoom back in let's get rid of this line because I don't think it's going to happen there and let me just readjust this zone over here so what I'm looking for in this particular chart is let's see if it, I believe it's probably going to push forward and then I'm going to look for a opportunity for the market to reverse maybe get an inside candle like that and that might be my signal to sell but off this top region there okay so that's the euro usd that's the plan i'll leave my marker right there so that i remember all right let's move along let's have a look at the us yen us yen let me zoom out quickly okay so it's in very steadily fall so heavy fall um, and we've seen that we've had these drops and now although this does not look very conventional there is a engulfing candle there that big red one is completely engulfing the little red the little blue one here so the way that you would trade that is basically at the open of that candle right there you become a seller so that market has already opened so if there's anybody there that is a little bit more on the aggressive side who doesn't mind trading the engulfing candle there is an opportunity right there um, at a slightly better price than what it opened so we would be sellers in this particular one there okay so take note of that so anybody interested there is a trade there on the US yen okay let's move on have a look at the GBP USD okay this is a steady looking chart you can see it's just very nicely traditionally moving up so what we're waiting for is the next wave down and then when it does pull back I will be looking for a reversal confirmation on the pullback so in there in I'm just drawing it in that particular zone right now 
And then once I get that reversal, then I'm happy to become a buyer and trade in the direction of the trend. So what I will do to this chart is I will just make a, a mark so that I know I'm looking for a pullback in that region. And let's see if the market returns to me and gives me that opportunity to, to buy into this trend. Okay, so that's the GBP USD. Moving along, let's have a look at Brent Oil this morning. Let me zoom out first. Okay, so this is an example of the reverse of the first chart that I show you. Previous support, see the markets on many occasions has bounced off that level, that line that I've just drawn in there. And then last week what I said was let's see if that previous support can now be some type of resistance. The market did pull back towards that level, didn't quite get there, but it's very, very close and then it's shot down. So that's an example of what I'm, what I'm saying. Now I was looking for that trade, but I never got an opportunity. It didn't get high enough and I didn't get the, the candle pattern that I was looking for. So unfortunately, uh, we, did, we weren't able to take advantage of that movement. Uh, for now, what I'm gonna do is this particular chart, I'm just gonna, I want it to leave this area before I'm interested in trading it again, okay? So for now, I'm not gonna do anything. I just want it to leave this zone before I, I'm interested in taking a trade again in Brent oil, all right? So there you have it. That's my analysis there. Final one for the week, let's have a look at gold. Gold continues to push up into new territories. We are now at $2,660 an ounce. Um, so it continues to push up, so nothing more I can say. All I can do is look for pullbacks. On a pullback, try and buy in. If you get the candle confirmation of reversal, and what we're trying to do is buy into this trend as such. Now, last week I was looking for it. The pullback did happen. Let me count back. One, two, three, four, five. So it, actually, two weeks ago we had a little pullback, but that was very, very little. So perhaps uh, you weren't able to take advantage of it. Um, but that's normally what can happen when you're in very strong trends. So for gold, if you don't like it, if you feel it's moved too much, just sit it out and just continue to watch it just to gain some experience. So there you have it. That's our analysis for this week. All right, recap again, data for this week. The highlights are non-farm payroll, job numbers from the US that comes out on Friday. And we also have from Europe CPI data, which is due out tomorrow. Have a great trading week, guys. And I'll speak to you next week for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.